So you can see from the beginning of his delivery, he just attacks forward. See that? Forward. The second he lifts his leg, he is attacking forward with his back hip. So you watch his back hip right here. He starts right there. And he goes forward with it. So you see it started right here. Look how far it is away from the mat. So I also covered this in uh, one of my videos. Uh, the link is up below. Alright. So after he goes forward, attacks forward, he really loads his back hip well. Now the only thing, only bad thing, however, I could say about his delivery is his front leg goes a little too fast. So he goes, he goes here, and now his front leg really flies out. So, however, he really, he makes up with it. Well, let's see if he makes up with it. Yeah, he, he tries to make up with it. You see how long his stride is because of his long front leg. It's hard for him to get over his front leg because of that. As you can see right here, he is bent. Usually when we land, we want to be slightly bent, but more on this angle. All right. So let's go back here. So he loads right here. His load as well, he's going very fast down the mound, his front leg is very fast, like I was saying before. And however, his uh, force vector is in line, this is the knee to ankle, it's mostly in line. It's close to his uh, front hip, which is right here. And he really catches himself well. Alright, now when we go to the explosion, he lands right here. As you see his optimal hip to shoulder separation. You see his hips are forward, his shoulders are back. So we look one more time, let's see really how he does it. So he loads, he has a lot of good forward momentum. And now he's more of a, he's not really extending, surging through his back leg, he's more rotating it. If you look at his back leg, it doesn't really surge out, more rotates down, but it still surges out a little. So you can see right here, it goes more down. Then he tries to he extends at the last second. You see his kneecap, his kneecap right here. Magnify that. Goes more or less straight down. But then he really extends, his, extends, pushes it off at the last second here. So you can see his uh, back leg is more or less fully extended and. Like I said, he's optimal hip to shoulder separation. He is chasing his glove. A lot of you guys like to pull your glove in. He's chasing it. That's good as well. And now he goes through. Like I said, is because of the angle on the front leg. We'll go back to that quick. Because of his angle, he really goes out quick. That he lands bent, so it's hard for him to get over his front side. Usually. A lot of other pitchers, circle pitchers, are here, and they're more over. However, it works for him, he throws 95. It's mainly also because of his his optimal chest thrust is here. His optimal external rotation, optimal chest thrust. You see how forward his chest is. A lot of you guys, if you videotape, are going to be up here. He's over here. All right, and then he extends through. Okay. So if you just look at his video one more time, he attacks forward, like we were saying that we went over in uh, the episode 1 or 2 minutes of 5 months prior, he loads his back leg, which is episode 2, extends his hips, you see his hip rotation is very, you see how fast he rotates his hips, he's close to the last second, which is, despite the fact that his uh, front leg is goes really far away, he still keeps it close. Now when he finally opens up, now he's opening up right at this point. A lot of you guys also go forward with the front leg, but very quickly it leads, but a lot of you guys open up too quick. And then he, when he opens up, you see it's the last second, he rotates his hips, you see they're closed now, and then in three frames they're open, three, four frames, which is phenomenal. That's really where he gets all his velocity, as well as he goes back with his arm. However, uh, 
He also got Tommy John surgery, as you can see. I think it's because he really loops his arm in the back. See how far away it is from his body. He tries to scap low, but he does more of a, a fly, like a dumbbell fly, instead of just a roll back. And he loads it, and you can tell how far it is from his body that he uses all shoulder. He doesn't really use, uh, he doesn't really squeeze his scaps together. And then he has amazing chest thrust. You see optimal external rotation. Goes through, stiffens the front leg, or at least it's stable. It doesn't go forward at all. And this is All right, that's it. I uh, hope you guys learned something. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you want more, tell me in the comments below. All right, thanks, signing off. Scotty Full signing off.